Okay, guys, so welcome back to another awesome video. Um, I'm sorry if my voice sounds a bit off. I was sick recently and I still have symptoms of COVID. But guess what we have today for you guys? Another dinosaur review. Okay, so here we have the Sino Tyrannus, which I'm really hyped about, and I think he's really cool. I've seen a lot of reviews on him online. And the Dryptosaurus. So, I'm going to open these guys up real quick. Do the Dryptosaurus first. Oops. Well, try not to be too. I'm going to be a bit careful with the scissors, I don't want to cut myself. Okay. Remember kids, always never use sharp objects like scissors or knives without parental supervision. Okay, so. This is a Dryptosaurus. Sorry if you can't see it that well. Yeah, the lighting's a bit off. Um... See it better over like this. Yeah, a bit still a bit dark, but okay. Now, of course, as the environment where it lives in, you can see right there like a jungle or like a foresty area. And a nice dominion box. So he looks like from the front. And on the back, you can see what he does. Levels of aggression. Um, there's this, the, the whole wave. So, yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to get this wild drawer dryptosaurus out of the box. Okay, so here we go. And I think. Boom, he is out. Whoops, looks like. He's missing a tail. Didn't really want to tear up this box. I kind of have to. Ooh, guys. He's definitely. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay, I think I have to. Hold on. We just oof, almost got myself there. Remember, if you are using safety scissors or something without parental supervision, which wouldn't be good, um, remember, always cut away from yourself. This is taking way too long to get out. Okay, I guess we have to. I didn't really want to. This bad boy. It's tail. Out. There it is in all of its glory. Now you can just pop it this way. No. Like this. This way around. And just. Uh, just. Pop it. Oof. Hold on. Technical difficulties, guys. Hold on. Okay, guys, so I'm back. And I have the tail on this figure. I'm just going to do a quick review. You can see the sculpt and everything on different views. I'm just doing a quick, like, review because I don't want to get too into depth. But that blue 
marking on the face is just wow. Okay. <clears throat> Time to test them out. Hold up this. Now. Let's see what he does. Okay, so you can go like. I like that. I like that. He pours move his arms. He's got ball sockets. He can move them wherever he wants. His legs. Surprisingly, they don't have a lock thing. Oh, maybe they do. I don't know. But I think we should move on to the... To the... What's it called again? Sonic Tyrannus. So let's do that. Yay. I'm a spark. I'm hoping. Here he is. For all of his glory. This is the gigantic trackers. Sound Tyrannus. This is a new species to the Jurassic World Mattel line. Um so quite frankly I'm really excited. Oh, okay, guys, sorry I didn't forget it's okay, it's okay. If you guys want to skin this bad boy. There you go. Go ahead and scan him up. Of course, I'm not going to do that yet. And here we have the Sound Tyrannus. Let's get him out of the box. I'm not going to go into detail about the box because the video is already pretty long. Oh, he just pops right out. I thought he'd have the feet things. So. Here he is, but wait, gotta get his thing out. Hopefully he saw his pose the last time. Whoa, sorry for the loud noise, guys. Okay, so how does this go? Apparently, like... Okay, I need the instructions out of the bottom because I don't know how this goes. Okay, I think I know. <clears throat> so I can lock my voice and everything. Is this how you put it? Definitely not. This part's supposed to be on his eye, but how? I don't know, guys. Oh, then there's a little chin strap.
Okay, guys, hold on. Pause the video because it's getting white. Okay, here's the tracking gear on. Of course, he has. Oh, wait. That one moves the tail, okay. Ooh, you can make it like a puppy. Okay. Now. This, which doesn't really work with the tracking gear on. But, still. So, so, oh, okay. I'll scan this guy. So you can go right ahead in your FX app. Come on, focus. There we go. So, all in all, I think this is a really good figure. I think, I think both of them are really good figures. So, here's the size comparison with both of them basically both the same size almost. Sound Tide Rise is a bit bigger. Of course you can also get that gigantic cracker which is Stego. Um, I'll be doing another review on something in the future. It's coming maybe tomorrow or the day after around so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, be sure to leave a oh, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Oh, I was trying to do there, but that would be cool. Okay, well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, and by the way, these are around from range from eighteen to twenty three bucks. So if you wanna get one for yourself or both, you can go ahead. I got these off Amazon. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like if you want. Subscribe. Um, but, yeah. That's the end, basically. So, peace.